Yeah, I mean, there's, there's, there's some things we can't talk about. Season 11 is pivotal in Sea of Thieves as we start 2024. Not just another update, the upcoming season is wrapped in mystery and preparations for further updates, with the developers hinting at a fundamental shift. This is also the reason for the recent lack of guides on this channel, as anything I would create before season 11 will immediately feel outdated when the season launches. So all the good stuff is being prepared for post-release. But what does this mean for us? We're not just talking about new skins or ships here, we're looking at game-changing updates that could reshape how we interact with Sea of Thieves. Enhanced gameplay elements, a complete overhaul of some existing ones, new mechanics, weapons, tools, and a brand new world event. Forever changing the Sea of Thieves that we know. A heartfelt thanks to my Patreon supporters for keeping this channel sponsor free. Fuzzy here, sit back, relax, and enjoy. One of the key focuses for the upcoming season is the introduction of shorter session options. This critical move makes the game more accessible and appealing to a broader audience, as they tweeted recently that voyages will be removed. Enjoying Sea of Thieves without committing to long play sessions. This shift could introduce more bite sized adventures, perfect for those with limited gaming time but still aiming for that sailing session. It also changes the sandbox experience in Sea of Thieves, as it's getting a significant overhaul. The developers plan to inject more life into the game world, potentially adding new activities, challenges, and interactive elements mentioned in other podcasts. Like zip lines, for example, on islands introduced in the Monkey Island Tall Tale will make their way to the main world, and other additional quality improvements. This aims to provide a more diverse and engaging experience, keeping the world fresh and exciting for veteran players and newcomers. But now, what will happen when these two different groups of players meet? A significant focus will be improving hit registration and implementing anti-cheat measures. This move is critical as it directly impacts the fairness and enjoyment of the game. By enhancing these aspects, the developers are looking to provide a more consistent and fair playing field for all pirates, ensuring that skill and strategy are the primary points of combat success. We also expect an expansion in the range of tools and weapons available to players. This development opens up new strategic possibilities and gameplay styles. Imagine battling with various new guns and utilizing tools that offer unique interactions with the environment. Additions like that could significantly alter combat dynamics and exploration strategies in the game. I really hope for a boarding axe like my older video from many years ago, but one can only dream. An important consideration for the developers is balancing new content with improvements to existing features. This approach ensures that while the game evolves, it maintains and enhances the elements players have come to enjoy. For example, the guild system was introduced as a pivotal social feature. Still, it needed more important ones, as there are so many abandoned and inactive guilds with others that were just made for two people, making them impossible to level up. Hopefully, we'll see further improvements in this field, like a UI to find guilds and expand guild capacity to fit in more players. Enhancements here could encourage stronger community bonds and create more opportunities for collaborative gameplay. This evolution could be a game changer and how players form alliances and set sail for new adventures. Speaking of adventures, I believe we are getting a brand new major world event, as when you look at this part of the podcast... There's another one here, and I, this could be to anyone, but um, they're asking about whether the Kraken is ever going to get a little bit of TLC, um, because other world events got a bit of love and attention, um, but the Kraken really hasn't had much done to it in a while. Is that something we would ever consider? Oh, oh, I think, oh, I think oh. that's a, it's a symbolic question. There are some serious expressions here that surely mean something is coming and something big. Probably a Kraken related event, but it's definitely on the way. I stream four times a week on Twitch and would be more than happy to see you there so we can chat about Sea of Thieves and watch me complain. Feel free to ask me anything. Fuzzy here, happy sailing.